Game number two of the Wichita Thunder season did not go the way they wanted on Saturday night. The Thunder dropped the first of 14 meetings against the Allen Americans by the score of 4 0. Matthew Will, Matthew Harding here at Intrust Bank Arena. And Matthew, I think it was a, a game simply that. Wichita looked very out of sorts in compared to Friday night against Idaho. And it was a complete flip uh, with their puck control. They were just sloppy with it. They could not keep a hold of the puck in between the two blue lines. They couldn't complete a pass in between the blue lines. And it's hard to make uh, offensive possessions when you can't do that. Let's get the thoughts of Wichita Thunder head coach Malcolm Cameron after tonight's game. First things first, thoughts on tonight's game? Really just one word, awful. Awful, top to bottom. We, uh, we played with no structure. We didn't stick to our systems. We looked like we were playing pond hockey. Uh, I thought we were lazy. And uh, all of that doesn't factor into scoring many goals nor defending. Turnovers, uh, obviously a big key in tonight's game. Uh, was it something that Allen did or was it mostly what you didn't do oh it's all what we did do <laughs> which was wrong yeah. i mean that honestly i give credit to alan because they capitalized on our on our dumb mistakes but really at the end of the day we handed them everything i i didn't think that they not that they didn't earn things but they didn't have to tonight we gave them stuff for free and disappointed would be to say the least like uh you know, it, it's great to have a great team on paper, but paper doesn't play. You know, but we got 70 games. You can't get too high. You can't get too low. But there's certain things you got to nip into the bud. And sometimes talented teams uh, think they can get away with cheating on the ice and, and being a little bit lazy and, and cherry pick or not stick to a game plan. This is a little reminiscent of my team in, in Florida in 08, 09, where we went, that year we won the Brabham Cup. We started out 2-2-1, two, two and one, and we were up and down like a friggin' yo-yo that, you know, the first five or six games till we got some chemistry. It's just playing the right way is the bottom line. And right now, tonight, we didn't play the right way. Is this the ultimate teachable moment that you can give this team from the weekend moving forward into two more against Allen next weekend? Well, if it's not, then, <laughs> then, then they won't be here. You know, guys either got to jump on board here with two feet or, you know, we just got too many good players here sitting out that, you know, those guys will get in. So at the end of the day, uh, your work ethic has got to be the foundation of your pyramid and everything else tumbles off of that skill, execution, all that stuff comes easy when you're working hard. What are your thoughts on Dylan Wells tonight? I thought he was great. I thought he gave us a chance, especially a stretch in the third period there where he made some really good saves. I think maybe just one there he'd like to get back, the fourth one. But other than that, he didn't really get a chance, you know, on the other goals. And I thought their goaltending was outstanding tonight as well. Like, for as little as we generated, he did make some really good saves in tight on some guys that are pretty good shooters. So, but, to, you know, uh, not putting up a goal, you don't have a chance to win the game. So you got to be able to score. How big was it to go? Uh, how big? How much uh, did it deflate you guys to go 0 for 4 on the fir in the first period on the power play? You spent 12, eight minutes of that 20 uh, on the man advantage and, and didn't get anything to show for it. You just got to have a short memory. You can't let that really, you know, stigmatize you in a game. We made a couple of adjustments and we, we had a couple actually some couple of really good looks on our on our last two but just lack of finish around the net and we're just trying to make it too complicated when your your power play is new at the beginning of the year and, and guys haven't had a ton of practice time with it uh you just keep it simple you know you get it up top change sides of the puck get it on net with people that's what you do and i think right now we're just trying to be too complicated on the bright side the good thing of the weekend is is our penalty kill was outstanding so you know that's good Let's tell you how Allen got the first four goals and the only four goals of the contest. They got the scoring started in the first period when Spencer Osichuk, after a penalty had expired, came all the way down the ice, split two Thunder defenders and got the puck past uh, Dylan Wells and that got Allen on the board at one to nothing. Stayed one nothing through most of the first period into the second and then Allen again tacked on another and 
really, I think, the, going back to the first period very quickly, the story of the first period was Wichita's inability to score on the power play, going 0 for 4 in that first uh, in that first period, and that was something that Coach just said a few moments ago really took the wind out of the sails for the Thunder. Yeah, and they had lots of good chances, too. They just couldn't get any uh, where they needed it. When they finally had a uh, puck down in the slot to a nice place, they couldn't do anything with it. In the second period, it was a net mouth scramble right in front of Dylan Wells that Allen capitalized on again, and that gave them a 2-0 lead. Stayed 2-0 through the rest of the second period. Allen would tack on two more in the third period, and that was how we ended up with a 4-0 result. I don't think any of the goals tonight you could pin on Dylan, Dylan Wells, except for maybe the fourth, and that one was kind of a pinball off his pad. The fourth one is just, uh, I think, a lack of lots of reps right now in this part of the season. He just didn't get his pad in front of him fast enough, and it hit the edge and skirted in between his legs. Absolutely, and uh, the goaltending, I think, if you can take away one or two positive things from opening weekend, I think the goaltending has to be one of the positives for Wichita. Yeah, I mean, both the goalies are showing that they've got lots of promise. They've got the ability to make those saves when they need to, and they both got pretty good reflexes. Despite the result tonight for Wichita, they go back to the drawing board, have five or six days, have five days rather, uh, to get things squared away. A rematch with Allen is here Friday night at Interest Bank Arena. Faceoff is 7.05. We'll get you started with the pregame show at 6.30 on the Sin Bin app. For Matthew Will, I'm Matthew Harding at Interest Bank Arena. Have a great week. We'll talk to you Friday night.